A narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 3127, warns that the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, forbade people from wailing. Unfortunately, some believe it is not permitted to cry in times of difficulty, such as losing a loved one. This is incorrect, as the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, cried on many occasions when someone passed away. For example, he wept when his son Ibrahim, may Allah be pleased with him, passed away. This is confirmed in a narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 3126. In fact, crying on someone's death is a sign of mercy which Allah, the Exalted, has placed in the hearts of his servants. And only those who show mercy to others will be shown mercy by Allah, the Exalted. This has been advised in a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 1284. This same narration clearly mentions that the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, cried over his grandson who passed away. A narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 2137, advises that a person will not be punished for crying over the death of someone or the grief they feel in their heart. But they may well face punishment if they utter words showing their impatience with the choice of Allah, the Exalted. It is clear that feeling grief in one's heart or shedding tears is not prohibited in Islam. The things which are prohibited are wailing, showing one's impatience through words or actions, such as tearing one's clothes or shaving one's head in grief. There are severe warnings against those who act in this way. Therefore, one should avoid these actions at all costs. Not only may a person face punishment for acting in this way, but if the deceased desired and commanded others to act like this when they passed away, they too will be held accountable. But if the deceased did not desire this, then they are free of any accountability. This is confirmed in a narration found in Jami Atimiz number 1006. It is common sense to understand that Allah, the Exalted, would not punish someone because of the actions of another when the former did not advise them to act in that manner. Chapter 35 Fatir, verse 18 And no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another.